Hi, welcome back. So I'm in my blanket fort again and I thought we might do some more reading of some books. So I picked out a couple more to share with you. Um, the first one is Puff the Magic Dragon. It's a little book. I like little books. Anyway, so Puff the Magic Dragon is written by Peter Yarrow, Lenny Lipton, with paintings by Eric Puberit. I think that's how you say his name. Anyway, so here we go. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. It's pretty illustrations. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the mist in a land called Honolulu. I think I see a pattern here. Can you see okay? Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow wherever they came, or whenever they came. I think I missed a page. Pirate ships would lower their flag when Puff roared out his name. They better. Puff's a dragon, you know. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. I think we get that by now. <laughs> a dragon lives forever, but not so little girl. Let me start over. A dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and boys. Painted wings and giant rings make way for other toys. One great night it happened. Jackie Pepper came no more, and Puff, that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. Oh, that's kind of sad. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Oh, he's sad. Can you see him? He's sad. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff that mighty dragon sadly slipped into his cave. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Uh oh, I think a new friend's coming along. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Oh, I think I figured it out. Okay, so. Jackie Pepper left and Puff got sad. But then this little girl's coming. See her there? And he's all excited. And the next page. See? She's meeting him. Look over here. I wonder if 
Jackie Pepper as her dad. Oh, that's kind of a happy ending after all. Yay. Yay. Bella. My kitty Bella thinks she wants in the fort. She's welcome. I just think she's not quite sure about it. Okay. Well, that was... That ended up being a good story. I'm happy with the ending. That's good. So, and I like dragons, so, yeah. So, my next book I've got is called Beautiful Girl. And it's written by Christian Northrup. And illustrated by Ariel Lance. I think this is going to have good, pretty illustrations, too. Hi, Bella. Do you want to join? You want to come in? The paper feels nice. And it has a good sound to it. Hello, beautiful girl. Do you know how lucky you are? Why? Because you were born a girl. And as a girl, you have been given special gifts that will bloom as you do. Yeah. These special gifts are just for girls. Boys have their own. Right now, you are probably too young to understand all the amazing things your body can do, but as you grow up, you will begin to notice them. Look at all the little babies and the flowers. The little flower babies. Think of your body like a magical garden, always growing and changing, full of color and life. And just as a garden has much to explore and discover, your body is filled with wonderful secrets that you will learn in time. There's an owl in a tree at night. I like that because I'm a night owl. And there's some unicorns by another tree. Each little seed sprouts up differently in its own time and its own way. You are the same. Perfect just the way you are. Oops, I think I skipped a page. Everything in nature is perfect just the way it is. And, yep. I kind of read that backwards, but it worked out the same. A garden is filled with delicate plants and tiny creatures as you walk among them. You are careful with them. You should be just as careful with your own body. Treat it gently and make sure others treat it gently too. Don't let anyone touch you in a way that does not feel right. This is your precious body. Trust your feelings. She's all a bunny. I like bunnies. There's a lot that comes along with being a girl, and sometimes your body will surprise you. Don't worry or be embarrassed about the changes you see and feel. Every girl on earth will experience similar things. And remember, you can always talk to an older girl or woman that you trust if you have questions. Imagine yourself lying on a soft blanket of grass in the warm sun. Doesn't it feel good on your skin? Your body is made to enjoy all sorts of good feelings, and as you get older, they will get stronger. This is just nature's way of telling you that you are growing up. That looks comfy. Take a nap in the grass. Oh, 
over time, things about you will start to change. These changes will happen slowly and will give you a glimpse of the woman you will become. Tadpoles become frogs and caterpillars turn into butterflies and you'll become who you are meant to be. Those are pretty butterflies. You have a special strength inside of you. It is there to help with all of the important things you will need to do in your life. Know that you are like a magnificent tree. Your roots hold strong in any weather, and your branches and leaves are a shelter for those you love. Aww. Someday you may decide to become a mother yourself, and because you were born a beautiful girl, you already have a little nest inside of you. This nest waits and grows and prepares for the time when you are ready to create a new life. It is a miracle, just like you are a miracle. You are a miracle. Every girl on earth is special and unique. Yes, you are one of a kind, but at the same time you are a part of something bigger. All the women and girls, mothers, daughters, and sisters who bring their magical gifts to the world. The end. This book is dedicated to all the beautiful girls in the world, both young and old. Take care of your precious body and it will take care of you. Christiane Northrup. Well, that was nice. I like the illustrations. They were pretty. Well, there's my two books for today. So, I don't know. They were good books. They were good books. So I also, before our time's up in the Blanket Fort, I wanted to say thank you to my 20 or so subscribers I have. I really appreciate you guys coming back and checking in on things every now and then. And um, if there's something you'd like me to try to do, you can leave a comment. Um, I've got very limited capabilities with stuff, so, but, um, I'll see what I can come up with. But uh, I wanted to at least share my appreciation, and, um, thank you. So, until next time, I guys, I hope you are enjoying your days, and take some time for yourselves, and, um, I'll see you soon.